Our devotions for today, the 10th day of Lent. We listen for the word of God as we find it in the Gospel of John, chapter 6, and we read just the first 21 verses of that chapter. Sometime later, Jesus withdrew to the farther shore of the Sea of Galilee, or Tiberias, and a large crowd of people followed who had seen the signs he performed in healing the sick. Then Jesus went up the hillside and sat down with his disciples. It was near the time of the Passover, the great Jewish festival. Raising his eyes and seeing a large crowd coming towards him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread to feed these people? He said, he said this to test him. Jesus himself knew what he meant to do. Philip replied, 20 pounds would not be enough to buy bread for every one of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There's a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fishes, but what is that among so many? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. There was plenty of grass there, so the men sat down, about 5,000 of them. Then Jesus took the loaves and gave thanks and distributed to them to the people as they sat there. He did the same with the fish, and they had as much as they wanted. When everyone had had enough, he said to his disciples, collect the pieces left over so that nothing may be lost. This they did, and filled twelve baskets with the pieces left uneaten of the five barley loaves. When the people saw the sign Jesus had performed, the word went round. Surely this must be the prophet that was to come into the world. Jesus, aware that they meant to come and seize him, to proclaim him king, withdrew again to the hills by himself. At nightfall, his disciples went down to the sea, got into their boat, and pushed off to cross the water to Capernaum. Darkness had already fallen, and Jesus had not yet joined them. By now a strong wind was blowing, and the sea grew rough. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and approaching the boat. They were terrified, but he called out, It is I. Do not be afraid. Then they were ready to take him aboard, and immediately the boat reached the land they were making for. Amen. Let's ponder these words in silence. Amen. Let's recite the Lord's Prayer together, shall we? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. I look forward to catching you again tomorrow as we continue our devotions throughout Lent. God bless.